What's up guys? This is my first time doing a YouTube video here on my desk. So I wanted to talk to you guys because number one, I did two videos, which sucks because they got, well, one got removed. So I unlisted the other one because it was a two part video. So I'm going to put a pause on that topic for a minute because clearly I'm um, talking about things like and you know of that sort you can't do that so you're gonna stick to some other stuff <laughs> but uh you guys i want to get into uh something that i i know i keep kind of touching on it but i wanted to do it more formally because i'm at the computer not in the car <laughs> and those videos are always done at the fly and like i said before um but the video is probably not there anymore so you can't see it i had said that I, you know, the goal is to basically put together structured content so it makes sense. So I'm not just out here freestyling it in the car every time, right? Which that's fine too, if you're into the freestyle in the car, because honestly, that's where I get like a lot of divine stuff. stuff for a long time. I told you guys. Back. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so. What I wanted to talk about is something that I see a lot of people posting about that are men, which is, uh, you guys have a problem with women empowerment. Like you guys really do. Like it's really funny actually. And it's usually, well, I guess it's both, but primarily it's single men, which I think is interesting. So, so that being said, some of you men need to pull it back in and you need to reevaluate what you're saying because the problem with talking about this patriarchal bullshit constantly from your standpoint is you haven't dove into the divine feminine and understand what it really means. <coughs> what am I trying to say? Thanks for asking. What I'm trying to say, you guys, is that at the end of the day, you cannot, you can't share an opinion on a topic that you have not researched both sides of so if you've only researched the side of your side of it but not the opposing side of it you're not going to get it and a lot of you guys want to bring in religion and all that jazz so i wanted to explain to you some stuff that i found um and some notes that i've written down about the archetypal overview of masculine and femi feminine archetypes that are reflected uh in the image of a god or a goddess right so they became separated and why the separation has currently led to where we're at now which is a deep crisis in western civilization and you guys this didn't just happen with the pandemic this is a uh, like f centuries and years and years and years of this right so we currently live in a world that has been governed by the masculine archetype for i don't know about like 2500 years or so um, and that's without the feminine archetype to balance it. Now, that means that there's been no sacred marriage between the two. And I'm, I'm speaking in a spiritual place, not like literal, right? Like from, from the societal standpoint and, and the archetypes that we have is divine feminine and we have divine masculine, right? Which they represent two different things. So we're going to delve into this and it's going to get deep. So just get your notepads out. Clear your program for openness to receive new information, and then you can go research it yourself if you like. Okay? Okay? Cool. Shake on it? All right, let's go. We live in a world so, that has been governed by the masculine archetype for 2,500 years, and without the feminine archetype to balance it, with no sacred marriage between the two. And as a result of this, world culture and the human psyche are now dangerously out of alignment with the earth and the cosmos the feminine stands for soul heart compassion justice the two primary values which protect and serve life it is summed up in this statement by a council of the indigenous people of north america which is all life is sacred we come into life as sacred beings when we abuse the sacredness of life we affect all creation say that again all life is sacred when we come into life we come into life as sacred beings okay 
And we abuse the sacredness of life and we affect all of creation. So through ignorance, hubris, and belief that we could dominate nature to the advantage of our species alone, we have interfered so disastrously with the organism of the planet that over the last 50 years, our growing numbers and our exploitation of its resources have brought about the destruction of 60% of all species. Okay, so did you men, what, what were you guys saying about men needing to be in power and you guys have an issue with women wanting to, okay, run it back. See, this is, this is where the issue lies. The male ego, boy, is it one hell of a disease. Y'all are really out here pumping yourselves up. You, some of y'all are in your mid thirties, forties with no wife, okay? No children it is a problem with the male ego. It is a major problem because these YouTube videos I watch about you know, oh, black girl magic, or, or, or oh, yeah, divine feminine, or it's real shit. Why you, why you, why you, why are you out on the internet, single as fuck, running your mouth about us? Why do we got sixty percent, huh, of our species and resources destructed in the last fifty fucking years? Sixty percent, bro. Maybe, maybe this masculine power thing ain't working out. I don't know what you think. So, um, listen, you guys, today we're faced with a choice. The choice that will determine whether or not we survive as a species. And uh, the question is to all of you guys is can we relinquish the false myth of growth? Progress and consumption we have been living by and cease our ongoing assault on the life and resources of the planet, or will we continue on the same senseless path of conquest and domination? So, 2,000 years ago, this prophecy was recorded in the fourth gospel of this. I don't know if I'm saying this right, so bear with me. Essenes, I'm going to write it on the screen E S S E N E S. Essenes, Essenes. This gospel and three others were discovered by Edmund Sezikli in the secret archives of the Vatican, and he translated them from the Aramaic by him, all right? And this is what it said. And these were 2,000 years ago, this prophecy was recorded in the fourth gospel of the Senes, Um This gospel and three others were discovered by Edmund Zizikli. Put it here so you guys can look it up. And uh, it was in the secret archives of the Vatican, and it was translated from the Aramaic by him, okay? This is what it said. But there will come a day when the Son of Man will turn his face from his earthly mother and betray her, even denying his mother and his birthright. Then shall he sell her into slavery and her flesh shall be ravaged, her blood polluted and her breath smothered. He will bring the fire of death into all the parts of her kingdom and his hunger will devour all her gifts and leave in the place I'm sorry, leave in their place only a desert. Let me say that again. But there will come a day when the Son of Man will turn his face from his earthly mother and betray her, even denying his mother and his birthright. Then shall he sell her into slavery, and her flesh shall be ravaged, her blood polluted, and her breath smothered. He will bring the fire of death into all parts of her kingdom. Shady. And his hunger will devour all her gifts and leave in their place only a desert. All these things he will do out of ignorance of the law. And as a man dying slowly cannot smell his own stench, so will the son of man be blind to the truth. That as he plunders and ravages and destroys his earthly mother, so does he plunder and ravage and destroy himself. For he was born of his earthly mother and he is one with her. And all that he does to his mother, even so, he does to himself. Now, every word of this prophecy has come to pass. Believing ourselves to be separate from and above nature, we have grossly interfered with the harmony of the natural world and are bring, we are bringing now disease and possible extinction upon ourselves. In order to transform our present view of reality, we need to understand ideas and beliefs that have created it. And when do we lose, you guys, the awareness that all life is sacred? Why do we lose the feminine archetype that connected us to nature? Why? Let's talk about it. Oh, 
Owing to the research that others have conducted over the last 40 years, we now know that the Paleolithic and Neolithic eras, the principal deity worshipped was the Great Mother. You guys ever heard of the Great Mother? Like, this is the crazy part. See, this is where, like, I get really into this about, you know, all these YouTube videos and, and right-wing influencers, specifically red pill type talk, of the ignorance of not understanding the depth of this spiritually. You, your religious types really interest me because you have a very linear way of understanding and it's wrong. It's wrong. You can, you can believe in religion and incorporate spirituality and that is where the missing link is. Religion is one part of a big part and religion is man-made. Earthly mother, creator. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna ease this in slowly so that this can kind of resonate, but I really am not playing with y'all. And as I get better, the lectures and the talks are gonna get better, and then we'll go live with this shit, and then we really gonna get into it. So I'm excited, because this is seriously a, a major source of contention for me because it's the entire problem with our world is the, the scales are not balanced. The divine and feminine and divine masculine are not balanced. It's masculine ego, feminine, compassion, or earthly protections, you know, uh, selflessness, creation, all those like feminine qualities. We've been put here and y'all think you're up here and we need to submit to you. Shut the fuck up. Y'all need to shut the fuck up is what you need to do. Cause you don't know what you're talking about. And so I'm here to break it to you. And I don't talk to my husband like this, but I'm talking to y'all like this because you're not my husband. But my husband doesn't talk to me and tell me I'm a secondary creature to him. We are a divine union of two becoming one. I'm him. He, he's me. To the point where we text each other at the same time, the same stuff. I'll go to leave a comment on our friend's Instagram post. I see he's commented, but he'll post the exact same thing I was about to write. Like, literally, we dress alike without telling each other. Like... We laugh like people say, I, I, we become one. I'm Michelle, he's Michael. Like, bro, you wanted to know about what was gonna happen when the divine and masculine and feminine got married? Well, it's happening this year, so stay tuned, okay? But in the meantime, I wanted to get you guys prepared for what's to come, okay? So, in this forgotten cosmology, there was no creator beyond creation. So creation emerged from the womb of the great mother. All species, including our own, were her children. Everything on earth and in the cosmos was connected through relationship with her. Then around 1500 BC, there was a change so great that its repercussions are keenly felt in all aspects of Western civilization. And this change was the replacement of the great mother by the great father. As the monotheistic father, God bought brought creation into being as something separate and distant from himself so nature became split off from spirit and was no longer sacred so simultaneously then the rise of powerful city states in the middle east led to the creation of a succession of vast empires territorial conquest and war Although the architectural, artistic, and literary creations of these empires were extensive, the suffering created by them also was widespread. Millions of young men lost their lives to war and died in atrocious pain. Millions of women and children were killed, raped, or sold into slavery. Deep traumas were created in the collective psyche of humanity that are unhealed to this day. And during millennia of war, we forgot about nature and then our relationship with her. Gradually, we developed the idea that we were above nature, entitled to control, and dominate her for the benefit of our species alone. Another event contributed to the loss of the sacredness of nature, a forgotten event that has also had a devastating effect on women and the planet. Do you want me to go further? Well, I'm going to, but not right now. I'm going to do this in a part, in parts of series because the next part I'm going to talk about, you guys, we're going to get into the God and goddesses, the queen and king of heaven. Um, 
and this is historically deuteronomists um you know have all these different things yahweh's law uh that were replaced um shamanic rituals kabbalah the mystical jewish stuff the divine feminine aspect of god was also you guys deleted from the image of deity um the only place that this mystical divine union is still existence is in the jewish tradition of kabbalah which is crazy um the roman church you guys it also like decided to wipe out all traces of jesus's marriage to mary magdalene um there was also another book i forget what they called the the uh, god's wife but it was it's just all different cultures have a different name you know um I will get into this further, but I just want to end it with saying that the pandemic, you guys, carried an urgent message for all of us to wake up to the small window of opportunity we have to change ourselves before it's too late. This means change in every sphere of life, change in every concept of what it means to be a human and living on this extraordinary planet. Change above all in our relationship with the divine feminine. We tread a path which is on the knife edge between the conscious integration of a new vision on the one hand and the virtual extinction of our species on the other. Which path will you choose? So we'll get into it more, but I just want you guys to understand something. A lot of stuff has been taking, taken out of history and been misused. So the fact that I see YouTube videos from intelligent people talking about women and the feminist movement as if it's like just about girls running the streets and being single and not needing a man and fuck y'all you have really missed the, the target maybe if you're watching ratchettv.com all day like world star or you know just looking on instagram or you know culturally pop culture <clears throat> pop culture crap you know that's what you're gonna take from it if you're watching it on tiktok but if you're actually understanding the spiritual meanings of the divine feminine and feminism if you want to call it that then you'll understand that it's not something we need to be disrespecting it's something we need to be cherishing understanding honoring and bringing back to the forefront immediately and it's vital to our survival of our planet so all this male dominance and women need to learn to be submissive because you guys are literally clinging to a world that is no longer going to exist it's not so i want to politely tell you that the divine feminine is here i'm her i know some others so but i know i'm her that's why my album i released in 2016 was called her h period e period r period second coming and what does that her acronym stand for humans evolving relationships in order to survive we're going to have to put the ego to the side and we're going to have to learn to divinely merge man is going to have to start humbling himself and honoring that which is the creatress the divine and in that way, we can start to heal. But I'm letting you know, gentlemen, talking about this hate on feminism, I get where you're going, but you're looking at a linear side of something that's spiritually extremely deep. So please take a moment to do some reflection and research and don't look at thought bots as a point of reference. Look at real women like myself and many others that are on the internet and see what they're saying about this stuff because this is serious. 2020, if you didn't realize, game over. Trump, I'm convinced is the, um, not Christ, but the opposite of it, the anti. So if you don't know now, you know, I know he is. And a lot of you guys are out here singing that male dominant rhetoric. All that man wants to do is cause destruction, spread hate and vitriol. And um, I think it's like far past the time that we all wake up. And I'm going to let you know, this awakening is going to happen 
regardless. So if you fight it, the more you fight it, the harder it's going to be for a lot of you. But the more you start to learn now and understand it, you're going to be able to wrap your head around it and have a better grip, a better processing and a better transition now into it because it's here because we need it and it's game time and that's how i operate i operate on divine time i don't work in a construct of i have to do this by this age or i have to do this i have to do this when spirit moves me because that's when my feet land in the right place if i do things because you want me to or society tells me it's not gonna work so um i really hope you guys look into the divine feminine Recovering it, honoring it, and merging it with the masculine. We are in 2023, halfway through. I really truly hope that you influencers watching this who want to run your mouths about repealing things, repeal your mouth before Mother Earth repeals you. God bless subscribe take care more coming soon god bless guys oh yeah remember you are divine peace